Hey yo, what is up? We're back again with another ABX special. Yep, that's what we're calling them. ABX specials. And this one is actually extra special. Extra special, extra spicy. We got we got the what do we have here? We have the Queen of Fire. She's the fire queen. Uh, she's definitely the queen of the day. She outpaces Minerva and Crescent. I know some people might still use those team ups, but we're talking about Miss Red She Hulk. Um, today is extra special because nobody is capping, right? You don't believe me? I'll show you. Nobody is capping today, right? Nobody's capping. So today could be the difference between, uh, you know, it, it could be the deciding factor in, you know, allowing you to jump, you know, ahead of, you know, the rest of your alliance or just jumping up in the ranks there. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to help you understand how today works and what you can do to maximize your score. So I'm going to show you my build. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we have 37,283 physical attack. That's with the team up, mind you. Everything's maxed out except critical damage. Uh, we're 4.39% short of that, so not by much. We're running with 19 Odin's Blessings. Because, like I said, today is extra special. You got to give this lady a lot of love. Stage 12, Power of Angry Hulk. And Rage, of course. Some people might run with Judgment. I've never tried it. I really don't have too much information on how that's actually going to do for you. But Rage is probably the best, best way to go. Um, on a different note, before we actually jump into the gameplay, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to narrate along with the gameplay and, you know, basically, you know, show you what, you know, tell you what's happening on screen and help you out there. Um, I do have to give a shout out to Cynic Chris, uh, one of my alliance mates. He's the one who actually provided this run. He is just a monster with Red She-Hulk. Um, best hands down. So shout out to him. Um, so some spicy, other spicy things happening. A Malcolm Man tier three, right? Um, I like Malcolm Man. I'm happy with that choice. I know he might be out of reach for a lot of players just because, you know, you got to get, you got to rank this guy up. You got to get through the epic quest and it's pretty expensive. Um, but this guy on auto now, not consistently, but he was soloing teams for me. Teams of Silver Surfer, Thanos, and Colossus. So he was doing some work. Um, I actually haven't taken him into any gameplay since I tier 3'd him. It just happened. Just tier 3'd him. Got this chick awakened. Uh, and I got both of those uh, holiday uniforms as well. So if anyone wants to see any gameplay on that or if you want to know, you know how these characters pan out before you actually make the purchase... Uh, let me know. Okay, let's get into the run. Let's do it. So very quickly, I want to note some things before getting into the run. Because Red she -Hulk is very tricky to play. Uh, I feel like she's even difficult to explain how to play. Uh, so hopefully, you know, the video helps you guys out a lot. I'm going to do my best to try to verbalize some things to look out for right now. Um, first off your graphics have them on very low because if you have any on anything other than very low uh, you'll notice if you do her fifth skill she does like this slow motion thing in the air like she's you know michael jordan going up for the for the dunk with the tongue out and all that so put them on very low um, also attack speed anything you can do to increase your attack speed i suggest to do it um i i, I can't tell you what it amounts to as far as like uh, physical attack but i can tell you it's a lot now you'll notice when the run starts the three is hit right away and the three is hit right away because it immediately brings you to the beast it brings you there faster than just using the joystick so you hit the three three cancel on the five you cancel five when she hits the ground and go into four. And then you'll notice the co-op button is hit. Co-op button is hit is like as soon as the beast is starting to attack. And what that's going to do is it's going to position you perfectly for the next attack. So she's going to do like a 360 around the beast and you're going to be set up perfectly for the next attack. Um, her play style is very tricky because 
she has damage accumulation, but it's damage based on damage received. So you're always going to have to position yourself to get hit by the beast. And what the beast wants to do, you know, after they made all these changes, he he doesn't always attack you. He'll, so he'll sometimes turn away from you and it's very frustrating and annoying and you just got to get used to you know what the what the beast is doing so sometimes you'll notice that she's positioned on the side of the beast before starting the rotation and sometimes she's positioned right in front of the beast and that's based on where the beast is during his attack so if the beast is already like in motion and he's going into his, his attack you could be right in front of him but if he's in the middle of an attack you're going to want to be on the side of him and that's going to cause him to to attack you so you can go on either side of him um, at that point um rotation is three one two five four you cancel five once she hits the ground one is not an iframe two is a partial iframe so what you're going to want to do is pay attention to when that red x shows up on the screen right on red she hulk that means she's an iframe and that means she's not accumulating damage she doesn't accumulate damage in the two the five or the four you always want to try to start your proc on one and two when your proc starts that's when you go into five Sometimes you hit the three and, and, you know, you got to stall for a second just, you know, if the beast is about to go into it and, and attack. So timing and precision is everything here. Okay, three into the five. Cancel when she hits the ground into the four. You're going to hit the co-op. Spin around the beast like a ballerina. Position yourself up perfectly for the next attack. Then the rotation is three, one, two, five, four. Make sure you're accumulating that damage from the one skill and the beginning of the second skill. That's going to be, you know, the most one of the most important parts of the rotation. Paying attention to that. Sometimes you do need to stall on the three. You know, just depending on where the beast is during his attacks. Another thing I want to point out is for the beast roar, he always goes to the middle, right? So you want to hit the three and be in the direct path of the beast in the middle. Three is an iframe ignore. So you can, you can still accumulate the damage um, during that time. Otherwise, you know, it's just a missed opportunity. All right, so pay attention to positioning, timing, and... Y'all have a good one, and I will see you in the next one.